Breaking into tech from another industry can often be daunting, mostly because it's a huge world of innovations, it's a huge world of tools, and you trying to learn all of these tools can be complicated. In my experience, speaking to some of my friends that have done this, or also like just thinking of my tendencies and how I'll probably approach it while I was doing this, this is my recommendation. If you're coming in from another industry that is not necessarily affiliated to tech, one thing that can accurately be assumed is that you're coming with you're coming in with some special set of skills that you've you know acquired in this other industry. This might lead or you know provide tendencies to one into the next thing you want to do, or they might actually be completely unrelated. Those are like two ways, right? But what I like to say is that you've as a as a, as a person that wants to transition into tech, there's a very high chance that you've come into contact with different technical platforms or different technical tools, you've probably used websites, you've used mobile applications, you've read about this, you've read about that. So I would say for a starting point, this might not necessarily be the end goal because a lot of people start in, at some point in tech and end up at the other end, right? So for a start, it will be important to try and look at your past experiences. What areas of tech have you used in your previous industry or you know have you, you know come across in your in your life up to that point? Are you fascinated by mobile apps? Um, do you, you know, oh, how does Facebook work? How does this, like, how are all these things? How do they build websites? How, how do these things work? If you're able to, you know, just think about tech in terms of the context of your life up to that point, it might be able to set you up for, what, what would I say, an area that you can, you know, transition into that can be connected to your existing life without being a complete, you know, 180 ton, 180... <laughs> Turn around, right? That could be daunting. That could be really daunting. Now, take, keep in mind that this might not necessarily be your end goal, but this is something that you use, you know, a little sense of familiarity to transition into a space until you get more understanding of it. This question that I got from my DM also mentioned that they are already doing JavaScript on Free Code Camp, uh, which is probably one of the first steps you want to get into, you know, after HTML and CSS, of course, learning web development. So let's assume that you've done this, you know, form of introspection. And you've reached the conclusion that what you want to be able to do is build websites. You want to build user experiences. You want to do this. You want to do that. This could fall into either a web, you know, developer, front-end developer, or even a designer. Like you don't know yet, but this is you just, you know, identifying a big picture. This is the area I want to specialize in. I want to be able to bring to life web experiences. Right? It could be the same for mobile. It could be the, it could be the same for infrastructure or something else. But I would assume that for the most part, a lot of people want to look into web development. I'm assuming here yeah, because I'm also a web engineer. Now, learning some of these things can be very, 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 very daunting. And what I'm going to recommend you do is something that I have, that they used in this movie called Tenet. And it's basically called the Temporal Pincer Movement. What does this mean? The Temporal Pincer Movement or Time Pincer Movement, however people choose to call it, is addressing the same issue from two different points in time. So there's a team that is attacking it from the future, the thing, there's a team that is attacking it from the past. Now, how does this relate to our situation? If you are thinking about being a web developer, there are two things, the future and the past, right? The future would be, oh, you picture yourself building out a Facebook, for example. You picture yourself building out a complete business website. The past, or uh, technically our present, would be, it means for you to be able to do this, it means you've learned these things, right? But for as you are transitioning into this space, for you to make the most sense, where you don't get carried away, you know, with all of this you know, technology, tools, blah, 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 and trying to figure out a roadmap, is that you need to be able to see the future from where you currently are. Does that make any sense? I hope it does. <laughs> but, so what this, what this basically means is that I, you are pointing out two different locations in your timeline. This is what you need to learn to, be, to get started. This is what you want to be able to do, maybe after a couple of months. So you have two points in time. I want to transition across to a final result point. So, how do you pick an end point? Let's say you're coming from a business administration or an entrepreneurial, an entrepreneurial background, right? I want to transition into tech. The first thing you can do is, oh, I want to be able to build a website for companies. You can say, okay, let me start with a project where I build a website for myself, for my company, stuff like that. Next thing you do is Google how to build a website, right? They tell you HTML, CSS, JavaScript. And then you learn HTML and JavaScript. You probably go to Free Code Camp, right? You probably go anywhere else where resources are they're rampant on the internet. But what you do here is you know that any, anything that you learn in this point is towards an end goal to build a project. Building is the best thing you can do for yourself, right? 
So when you do this, um, of course, since you are working alone, you are learning alone, you probably want to, you know, come up with oh, where do I put the button? Where do I do design this? Blah, blah blah blah. So it makes sense to get inspiration from other platforms that are similar to what you have in mind. But the key part is that you have an end goal in mind as you are learning these, you know, intricate details. So the first thing you do is, oh, how do I even build up a page? Right? You break this down. You break your future goal down. How do I build up a page? How do I connect pages? How do I do all of these things? And this inquisition from the end goal down to the fundamental part would help guide your steps on what you need to learn. I promise you, it can get monotonous. I promise you can get monotonous where you feel like you're just learning step step, but you do, nothing makes sense right now. You're typing stuff out in the terminal. And it, you might feel like you're running out of time because you're transitioning from an entire industry. But if you connect it with this end goal, you're able to learn what you, what you require to build some of these things. Now, the process of building this thing will also now start to teach you or introduce you, or introduce you into problems that you never had any idea that you run into. This is when you also ask questions, you know, you engage in communities, you do this, you, you attend conferences or whatever the case is. But you know that what you are learning is to get to one particular point. Let's say over time you are able to build this website, you've acquired some level of experiences and you probably come and says, yeah, I want to be able to build better websites or okay. Building website is not for me. Or, or, or the process of building this website made me more interested in you know, designing websites. And now you say, okay, how can I design something like this? My point basically here is that for people, even for me as I'm currently in tech, but for people that are transitioning inside, it might be very difficult for you to just automatically jump into the nitty gritty of stuff. And it gets very cumbersome, you know, unless you have just affinity for it and you pick it up easily. But some people struggle with it. So for people that struggle with it, think big picture. What do you want to be able to do? Kind of like deprioritize, oh, this is all the amazing technology I need to learn if I'm able to do this. No, don't do that. You overwhelm yourself. You get depressed. You burn out, all of those things. Just focus. I want to be able to build a mobile app. I want to be able to build a website. I want to be able to do this. And start from that begin, from that final goal. And now start researching, breaking it down. For me to be able to do this, what I need to do. Or what do I need? Just Google, what do I need to build a mobile app? Stuff like that. And you start breaking it down into the fundamental actions that you need to take. If you're able to do this two, three times, you get to know more about yourself, more about your interest in tech, you ask more meaningful questions, more specific questions, and you get guidance along the way. But one thing that you will not have particularly have issues with is going to be the roadmap, because you know that all the things you are learning is towards this adventure. You've created your own roadmap. This is what you want to be able to do. And then any research you do will help you find resources that you need to learn to be able to do that thing, right? Now, the next step, of course, will be getting internships, getting jobs, but this is just to address the first part figuring out a vision, a roadmap on what to do next. So I have always recommended that in tech, the problem, the business value, the solution you want to get to will dictate what you need to learn and will also help guide your entire journey because you're seeing the big picture. So I hope this, I don't know how long this recording was, but I hope this makes sense to you. And if you have any comments or if you've done this in the past where you transitioned from you know, a previous field into tech, if you have any experiences I want to share with anyone that might be watching this video, please drop it in the comments so that one or two of us could learn a thing or two. Thank you very much again for watching this video. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, you know, the old YouTube thingy, you know what to do. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.